What is up everyone? My name is Hail to the Boyd and I'm going to be casting the Game of the Week games today. Um, we've got about five games provided from the Age of Mythology, the Resurrection League. Uh, if you want to watch the recorded games, feel free to v um, visit rtssanctuary.com. They're in the Game of the Week section of the Age Mythology forums in the replay section. Um, but without further ado, let's jump straight into game number one. Spawning in the uh, left of the screen, playing in the blue color as Loki is our Acid Weasel player. He's from the clan Acid and his name's Weasel. Obviously spawning in the right in the red color, also playing Loki, so it's a Loki Wars Arf Eversaw. A little bit of background on these players. Arf Eversaw has been playing Age Mythology since before I, I I was. He's been he's been around for a long time. He's a brilliant Loki player. Has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. So it'll be interesting to see exactly what he decides to do this game. Weasel, on the other hand, is a very talented Titans player. So he's going to be bringing across a lot of those Titan strategies, which um which are a bit quirky sometimes, but tend to work out nonetheless because they're just very nice strategies in general. Um, to talk about a bit of strategy in this game, it looks like Weasel's gold mine is extremely exposed here on the map. This means that if Eversaw can scout it and, and um, notify that it's there before it's too late, he's going to be able to abuse that and up extremely fast. Um, I would love to see a temple placed here, hit the classical age around 4 minutes, but that's not going to happen, so maybe 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, and then just Heimdall rush this gold mine and take the game. That, that's, that would be the easiest way. Um, in retrospect as well, Eversaw has a sort of exposed gold mine here, but Again, a couple of houses would um, really make this location easily defendable, so probably not the best of ideas to rush this location. However, um, Eversod did note that his, his gold mine's a little bit exposed, so he's spied his enemy Ulfsark, who's going to be running back to build the temple at home. Uh, Weasel's notified that the temple have gone up from Eversod at a forward location. He knows that he's probably going to be up for some sort of rush. I'm not exactly sure. He, he's also built that extra Ulfsark, so he's going to be able to spam some walls out, probably, possibly some house walls, um, build another temple as well if need be to pump some extra Hursa on the age up to um, Classical Age. So we got Weasel advancing through Forseti and Eversaw advancing through Heimdall. There we go. So he is providing a Heimdall rush here, so it's going to be relatively effective with this gold mine open. However, Weasel doing the the smart thing going through four said he's going to be able to get that um, buff for the or the upgrade for the Hursa through Hall of Thanes and if he can survive this early game push he should be in good shape to um, at least at least be competitive in this game. A little bit of a skirmish going on here um, just trying to not lose units at this stage Weasel knows that he can retreat back to a, a healing spring have these units just reheal and then um, go back and fight some more, and then he'll be at a little bit of an advantage there. Weasel knows he can't... It, we, obviously he doesn't know that, but Weasel just advances his tower, which is going to be instantly uh, undermined. That undermines the god power, which will destroy any wall. Tower also do damage to town centers and hill forts. It's going to be able to do a lot of damage there. He's also pushing off the gold mine here. Now is the stage when um, Eversaw needs to note, he, okay, I pushed off this gold mine, where can he gather gold? What's his scouting like? He's seen a gold mine here. He needs to, one, scout over this side, two, send a unit here. He's not going to really be able to push in at all. Um, he might be able to pick up a tower, but really the point of that is very little. What he wants to do now is really limit the gold of Weasel. Weasel has spotted this gold mine and he is going to be mining from it and uh, Eversaw has no idea at the moment just because he's, he didn't spy the gold miners or and also he didn't um, scout very well. So Eversaw throwing down an extra extra longhouse is going to be able to support those three longhouses at this stage of the game. He also has his pickaxe, might want to consider getting hand axe at some point. Eversaw has spotted this gold mine now, but Weasel being smart, noting that that is spotted, he's going to retreat his villages back home. Not going to lose any villages, just walking distance. 
However, he still has four dwarves mining this gold mine, so that's going to be um, good for him in order to continue producing units, obviously. Evazor has to be careful now. He is ahead by a long way, but this is Age of Mythology, and the game can, t tied, can swing so quickly if you make a mistake. Weasel knows this, and what Weasel's trying to do is trying to bait Evasor into trying to take out this town center. He's got the Iron Hajars to tank tower fire as well, but obviously a little bit of micro, he can micro those towers onto the Hursa or onto the Throwing Axeman instead of the Iron Hajar. A uh, little bit of wall throwing down here. He's really just trying to play as defensively as possible. Now eversaur has got this healing spring. He feels like he's fine here. He's getting sl healed slowly. He's also got these um, giant killer iron and jars tanking damage. However, looks like Weasel's just done a really nice surround on Eversaur, and that's going to be kind of deadly. It's going to actually let Weasel back into this game, which looked like he had lost it there. Eversaur's going to have to retreat out. Um, fight, remax, and then fight for another day. Hopefully he um, he's managing his economy correctly, which is mostly uh, food and gold, but it looks like he's got um, four, 700 wood. Really needs to convert that into farms, take a bunch of these villages off of the off the wood and build a bunch of farms. Also, you better not lose all these villages because that's a lot of resources which you'll be losing if he does pick off one. They, he picked off one and two and also spawned a Valkyrie, so that was a great raid for Weasel. Just going to retreat, hopefully he's just going to retreat out of there after he's picked off this tower and try not to lose any units. Eversaw reacting to this with a couple of throwing axemen, just picking up another two of those Hursa, that's going to be great for him. And then Weasel's going to go again, raid some more, try and pick off some more villages using his Hall of Thanes upgrade, which um, more HP and more speed basically, so that, they're good for raiding. I feel like at the moment Eversaw is just doing a little bit of poor unit control, losing a lot of units willy nilly, not fighting with all his units. He's also surrounded the wrong way with the throwing axemen at the wrong side. That's going to allow the trolls to prioritize on throwing axemen instead of prioritize on the Hursa. So, however, it was still it was good enough to uh, at least push Weasel back. Weasel, on the other hand, having this Valkyrie over here being really annoying. Uh, Eversaw should really just send one Hursa over there to deal with that. It's going to be extremely annoying, especially if he loses that ox cart. He's going to have to build another ox cart in order to continue mining from gold. Otherwise, it's going to be a long track back, which he's already done. He's already got this ox cart over here. It's just a little bit of a track to get over to this gold mine. Weasel trying to push off this gold mine again. Now scouts that it's not on there. He's spawning another Valkyrie. That's nice for him. Uh, but really what it comes down to is Eversaw has the superior force, he has the Iron Ajar, he has the Throwing Axe, and he has the counter to his opponent's army. What he needs to do though is he needs to find out where he needs to attack. Where's he going to attack? It's at that gold mine, but, but where's he mining from? At the moment, Weasel isn't mining from anywhere in gold mine, actually, but he does have that 500 gold, and I think it looks like he's gearing up to go to the Heroic Age, probably through Bragi, going to be grabbing a Town Center or two, and then trying to win this game through Flaming Weapons and Superior Economy Management, which it looks like he's done. He's hit that 800 food faster, hit that 500 gold faster, and now he's going to be advancing a little bit quicker than, than um, ever saw. So there could be a little bit of a timing that Weasel could pull, and we'll see if he manages to do that. It looks like basically Weasel's just trying to keep Eversaw preoccupied with these raids. He can't really do that much damage because Eversaw is playing a little bit defensively. However, there's another bit of a skirmish walking over here. Might be able to pick up a bunch of these houses, which could be a big win. However, it looks like he's probably just going to come in and see if he can do some damage here. Maybe harass over here and kill off a couple of villages, which he does manage to do. Now he's going to retreat. Eversaw does hit the heroic as well through Bragi, but the positioning isn't quite right at the moment. If Flaming Weapons goes off, it looks like it's probably going to be favoring um, Weasel, but this fight can go either way, especially with this Iron just spawning for Weasel, but Weasel has to retreat there. Um, the Throwing Axemen were just doing too much damage to the uh, herso based army of Weasel, so it's going to be enough to push him back. Eversaw needs to be extremely careful now. He really wants to, really should be thinking about securing this town center. This town center is pretty much already secured. He doesn't, he shouldn't be prioritizing this one over that one when he has the army advantage. However, he is choosing to grab this town center, and we're going to see if Weasel can sneak his town center over here or not. Yo. 
Um, Eversaw going to be retreating a little bit. Probably going to be throwing down a bit of a boom. He has been grabbing some upgrades. Hopefully, no, he has no upgrades. Really needs to think about grabbing those economic upgrades instead of purchasing more armory. Army upgrades is probably not going to be good enough. Now it looks like Eversaw is trying to secure this town center. However, the force of Weasel looks pretty strong at the moment. Two battle balls to tank damage from the throwing axemen as well as everything else. Um, all Weasel needs to do is really flaming weapons now and then he should be able to win this fight. All comes down to the micro and what happens there. And it looks like just the fact that the flaming weapons went off first for Weasel for three seconds more than we ever saw just look like. Look at that difference there. His entire army's alive. Ever saw sitting on 61 supply to Weasel's 115. Weasel's going to be able to throw up this town center, probably build up a hill fort as well, secure more gold mines, get more resources, get more army, and probably win this game because of that flaming weapons exchange that just didn't go quite right for um, Ever saw at all. And the battle ball really wrecking havoc here is the Hursa of Eversaur are just really, uh, really weak because they don't have that Hall of Thanes upgrade. They probably don't have any armory upgrades either. Only pierce some, which is kind of pointless because there's only three trolls on the map at the moment. Um, so it really can't do much with those Hursa at all. They get picked off so easily. A little bit of another raid coming in here. And the thing about the Hursas of, of Weasel is he can just run in, pick off villages and then run out. And Eversaw looks like just GG there. Felt like he was too far behind. Threw the game away. There's a lot of mental edges there, but mostly it's the fact that he's not gathering any gold at the moment. He's sitting on 14 gold, can't produce any more units, and basically that's why uh, I ever saw had to GG out then. Um, well, my name is Boyd. Uh, we're going to go on to game two very soon. And thanks for watching.